Hey, Dr. John here with LifeSpa Ayurveda. Today, I want to talk about some amazing new research linking longevity to gut health. Also, we're going to talk about studies linking gut health to cognitive function, to how well you handle stress, and to your mood, and much, much more. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. If you're watching on any other platform, please subscribe, follow us, or like us. And if you're watching this on our website at LifeSpa.com, please subscribe to our newsletter. And also check out our Ayurvedic store for all of our Ayurvedic herbs at the store at LifeSpa.com. So let's dig into this. The seat of Vata in Ayurveda is something that means that the source of our nervous system is in the gut, that the source of our longevity, health, and vitality is in our gut. They knew that thousands of years ago. They also knew 3,500 years ago, written in the Rig Veda, that there were actually little bugs that were invisible and visible. They called them krimi. And they also talked about these little microscopic bugs that they couldn't see. They knew that they were there, and they knew they were linked to all types of health concerns and also amount, a certain amount of well-being. So instead of killing them, they decided to support them by changing the environment of the host, by healing the intestinal tract. So it's been long known in Ayurveda that by healing the intestinal tract, creating an environment for gut health, that was the source of our longevity. Now, in Western medicine, they first started talking about little, what they called animalcules in the 1600s. They actually first discovered the bugs in the intestinal tract in the 1800s. And then in 1999, a doctor, Michael Gerson, actually discovered what he called the second brain, which is that the gut the enteric nervous system was as elaborate and innervated as the brain itself, calling it the second brain. They also discussed, he also discovered that 95% of the serotonin in your body was actually produced in your intestinal tract. And shortly after, they discovered many other neurotransmitters for brain support, mood stability, and much, much more. They're manufactured inside your intestinal tract, which is really interesting. They understand that, the, that the, the second brain works through what's called the pituitary, uh, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, the APA axis, also known as the gut brain, brain gut connection there, bidirectional. Whatever happens in the gut is going to happen in the brain. Whatever happens in the brain is going to happen in the gut. So this has been well established, right? They even did studies early on where they could actually look at the kind of microbes in the gut and predict if that child was going to be an artist or an engineer or some other type of profession. Kind of really interesting. And this fell into the world of psychobiotics, the idea that, that these bugs are really affecting our psychology in a major way. They did one study where monkeys' moms were, were startled during their pregnancy and then the offspring were not only very, very vulnerable to stress and anxiety, but they also saw a significant decline in certain bugs like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. So we saw that the stress during pregnancy not only affects the, the microbiome of the person who's taking the stress, but also the offspring as well saw a lack of those good bacteria. In human studies, they found a very similar thing. They found that when humans were under a lot of stress, they saw a significant decline in lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. And they also found that when they gave those supplements in a um, supplement form, the probiotics, that they were able to handle stress well. Again, they saw less anger, less sadness, and less kind of inability to handle stress, which I thought was really interesting as well. I'm a big fan of using what are called colonizing probiotics, strains of uh, lactobacillus and bifidobacteria. For example, bifidobacteria lactis HN019 has been shown to stick to and adhere to your intestinal tract and support the proliferation of permanent resonance in your gut by 40 to 60 percent. So those are the ones we use at LifeSpa. They're called Flora Store Gut Revival. You can learn more about them on my website at LifeSpa.com, but really, really important. Um, they also showed that um, they gave a, a group of healthy people um, a, the uh, supplements of the bifidobacteria and, and lactobacillus. And they gave one group the placebo and one group the bacteria, and they found that the group that got the, the probiotics, uh, even though they were all healthy, saw much less sadness, much less 
anger, much less irritability, much less rumination, more focus, many, many things that they saw. So a good, healthy, stable in the, in the gut is critically important. But you always want to go to the upstream cause. You want to understand where does that healthy, stable of bugs come from? It comes from the environment. And where does the environment come from? It comes from upstream digestive function. So Ayurveda said 85% of all disease comes from digestion. So to really make sure that you're always evaluating the ability for your stomach to make the right amount of acid, the ability of your liver to make the right amount of bile, the ability of your pancreas and duodenum to make the right amount of enzymes. So that upper digestion is coordinated so you break everything down upstream before it goes into your intestinal tract and acts like irritants. Stress can cause a big impact on the intestinal tract and cause all types of inflammation. We also know that pesticides will kill the bugs, right? That's what pesticides do, they kill bugs. They kill the bugs on your food, in your mouth, that help you make the digestive enzymes, that help you digest hard to digest foods like wheat and dairy and lectins and things like that. So it's really all connected, and that's why I've written so many articles about how to strengthen your digestion. I wrote an article called The Digestive Health Quiz. You go through and ask yourself all these questions, you're gonna help you troubleshoot your digestive system, where the weak link might be. I also have a couple of eBooks, one on gut health and one on uh, the digestive health quiz. I think it's called Question Your Digestion. You can learn more about that. Studies also show that there are certain bugs in your gut that can show you, that can make you smarter. And there are certain bugs that can actually compromise cognitive function. In about 27 different studies, there's a bug called acromancia which has been shown to be directly linked to accelerated aging and less cognitive function. So you want to be aware of that. And there's also a study with zebrafish, and they found that's the one where they actually found that they, when they healed the intestinal tract, um, it not only supported the overall longevity, but also supported the health of every other organ in the body, suggesting that the gut is the first domino for optimal health. And this, again, is now ancient wisdom being supported by modern science, something that we write about regularly at LifeSpot.com. So please check out more of these articles about ancient wisdom, modern science. And this one is a big one because we're talking about the seat of Vata. When you take, when I would teach Ayurveda and Ayurveda colleges, the first thing that they learn is the seat of Vata, how important the intestinal tract is. And now we know so much more about the, the mechanisms that underlie how gut health can support pretty much all aspects of your health, well-being, and longevity. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.